Hi friends, what is up? It's Ash. Welcome back to a new video. So for this week's video, I wanted to give you guys a little tour of my Notion setup. If you don't know what Notion is, I explained this in another one of my videos really quickly, but it's basically like an online bullet journal and it's a platform where you can just make schedules, tables, different pages, literally anything you want to do with it, you can do. And it's been really helpful for keeping me organized. So yeah, I figured I would show you guys what my setup looks like. I've inspired quite a few people to get onto the app as well. So if you're interested, then stick around. All right, so I'm gonna be recording my screen so that you guys can see what I'm doing and just give a little walkthrough. Okay, so this is my Notion setup. And basically I'm just gonna take you guys through all the pages, all of the features that I have like inputted in and yeah hopefully this like gives you some inspiration so this first page is my page for all of my schoolwork and my academics and basically i made it coffee themed because i really love coffee and just like the aesthetic that i have going here is very like bright airy i don't know i just love it so i have this little gallery set up here that's what the feature is called and i have all these like pictures of coffee and whatever basically when you click on one it opens up to this other like sub page and this is where I keep all of my information about each single class. So I have my Blackboard page link, I've got my syllabus, and for some of these classes, I have tables here that have all the assignments listed, what type they are, how much they're weighted into my average, and my due dates, and obviously when grades start rolling in, I'll put my grades in there. This is actually not the best example because I don't take notes for songwriting, but for classes like, what is this, physics, or acoustics rather, I have a little sub page for notes. Whether it's async or a sync lecture, I'm always taking notes on these pages. I really like having it all in one place. And another thing that's super cool is you can add like a little icon at the top. So I don't know, I think it's cute. So that's that section. And I do that for basically all of my classes. I'm taking five this term. Um, and then when you scroll down, I have my class schedule, like what class I'm taking, when I'm taking it, the time, how many credits they are, and my professors. And underneath I have just like this little quote, something to remind myself that my worth is not a measure of my productivity because that's a trap I tend to fall into. And I have this cute little tea cup thing i don't know i thought it was like aesthetically pleasing and something that's really cool is you can like resize the picture sometimes like that and another thing i have at the bottom is my spring quarter timeline so, okay so since drexel goes by quarters it's a 10 week term instead of a normal 15 week semester which i feel like i've explained a lot but basically students here just tend to count weeks and be like oh it's week one it's week two so i have a little timeline here that just says it's week two week three four five whatever that's that that's my academic page yeah and i made this collage that was the only collage i made out of all of my pages because i was too lazy to make the rest Okay, so moving on to my planner page. This is what replaced my actual bullet journal, to be honest, but basically I just have the list of all the days of the week and then I do make like a checklist of everything I have going on that day. So today's Wednesday, I'm actually getting my second dose of the COVID vaccine, which is super exciting. And then afterwards I have homework to do. I have to write an article for work and I have a monthly marketing meeting for my UT's job. So yeah, and when I'm done, I can just like, check it off and it crosses out automatically which is super cool and yeah i edit this basically every single week underneath i have my fitness schedule i'm trying to get into a routine of going five days a week so i have a little like schedule as to what i'll do at the gym what time i want to go i'm actually not going to the gym today just because my covid vaccine is eight blocks away and i have to walk there so i feel like that's enough exercise for me <laughs> um but yeah and i also have this little like fitness schedule inspo thing that i found and i really like so i just put it there and then lastly i have my little month at a glance this is just for like bigger events like i don't know my like informal recruitment i have a phone appointment it's my friend emma's birthday tomorrow so just things like that so next moving on to my journal page i don't really want to go too deep into this because it's kind of personal stuff but you kind of get the gist i just write my thoughts here you know 
yeah and then going into my budgeting page which i'll probably go more in depth with when i do my video about like budgeting and managing your finances in college but basically this is how i keep track of all my expenses which is super duper important to me so i have a monthly cap of 300 dollars, and that's for literally every everything i buy and i basically just make little tables for every single month so i write the date i spent it the amount i spent and where i spent it and then at the bottom of the table is actually really cool you can like sum it all up or average it you know so just so i can see how much left i have of that 300 dollars. so my next page in notion is for my jobs and internships i work at a record label called elton audio records and i basically write articles so whenever i'm doing my like weekly vlogs and you see me like article writing for work that's the job i'm doing so i just have all of the necessary links i have my current assignment tab which is right now empty but i actually do have a current assignment that i'm going to fill in so I love this keyboard so much. I just love how it sounds. And then underneath I have my university tees. Actually, this is done, so I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna add my newest to-do, which is closing an order for Drexel Engineering. And I have all the necessary links and everything. If you go to Drexel, you're part of a club and you need shirts, hit me up, I got you. And then the last two pages I have on my Notion set up are for youtube and music just some little things i've been working on so yeah that's my youtube and music page and then my last page is for my sorority because i'm the fundraising chair so my responsibility is organizing fundraising events keeping track of all the money that we make yeah i just have like ideas here i've got a calendar for all of the events and whatever so yeah so that was pretty much my tour of notion i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope this inspires you to maybe like get organized get your life together i don't know whatever you prefer if you made it to this point in the video you are a very good human and i'll see you in my next one bye <laughs>